morning. Uh, time to get up. These glasses, jacket, and sweats, baby girl, that's a get up. Mm -hmm. It's chilly outside, but I'm ready to burn. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. Good morning. Ready or not, here I come, let's work. Good morning. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. No regrets are always between 9 and 12 minutes before school. On the weekends, a little longer, but before school, always 9 to 12 minutes. So today's workout is six rounds. It's going to take her nine minutes. Every day is a little bit different, but in general, we like to attach a cardio movement with some type of like weightlifting movement, right? So we try to add an external load like kettlebells, dumbbells, something like that, and then some type of cardio movement like running or box setups. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. Good morning. Ready or not, here I come. I try and be like a professional here, but I'm not. I bought the wrong filters, so they don't really fit, but they work fine. Um, but this is an AeroPress, this is a pour over, uh, you could have either one. And then Ashley likes um, the espresso. Either gonna love it or not When the flow gets going gets harder to stop It's the last few seconds and you're almost through Dig a little deeper, got a rep or two With a left and right better hit the I will be at Camp Pendleton tomorrow working with Customs and Border Patrol Special Forces Unit there I'll be taking them through an activation about um, controlling their breath through activity uh, I'll also be taking them through a partner workout and I'll be teaching the fundamentals of the deadlift, the back squat, and the press. Uh, do you want to talk about the weekend or is that too soon? <laughs> No, it's not too soon. I was going into this jiu-jitsu tournament and it's the Master World. So what this was, it was the biggest number one event for amateurs. So if you're like an amateur, you're not a professional, 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 this was the number one. So there was 30 people in my bracket and uh, I was competing at a Master Two super heavy purple belt, for those people who are wondering. So I get there and uh, dude, it was a, super interesting learning experience about the sport of jiu-jitsu. Um, they're five minute matches, so they're short. I get ready for my first match. I just dominate this guy. I mounted him, side control, knee on belly, you name it. I ended up winning 17 to zero points wise. And I got ready for my second match and, you know, every match is its own new match. You never know who you're gonna go up against. And this guy, he was good. And him and I, we stood up for five minutes I took him down, I got an advantage, and then with like 30 seconds left, he got an advantage, so we were tied, and I thought I was more aggressive, I thought I played the better game, but ultimately, after five minutes of competition, it went to the referee's decision, and I didn't get the decision, so I didn't go on. It was heartbreaking, man, it was very frustrating because I've never lost anything, specifically because a judge said that like, the other guy won. Like, no, neither, it was technically a tie, but the referee thought the other guy won, so I, I didn't move on. Uh, that was my weekend, man. Flew out to Vegas, uh, tried to go, you know, put myself in a good, you know, competitive mindset, and my nutrition was on point. I felt great, I was ready to rock, I was warmed up well. Just, uh, wasn't my day. always test workouts ahead of time just to see how they are so that when they actually get distributed to our gyms and then the gyms use our programs they're the best they can be Check my ego and progressively 
you work up and recognize that, like I'm not trying to just get stronger for next week I want to be stronger for the rest of my life so if it takes me a couple of weeks or a couple of months to kind of rebuild from where my numbers were to where they you know where I want them to be I'm fine with that so the, my first week in friend squatting I was like at 315 then I worked up to 335 this week I just hit 355 and then I'll progressively try and start increasing load over time Still in my Tell a friend, I should be televised, headline and main event. Maybe that's for starters when we at the party. My middle name should be after party. Yo, last name Wolf, first name Wow. You ain't getting to it, I'm hanging up, don't wanna hang out. Wrong time, right place, baby, watch out. It's about to go down like a knockout. Got him like W, I wanna W. We going crazy, tell me what you wanna do. Now, hands to the ceiling, you feel it, say hallelujah. We renovating the building, let's set the roof up. Here we go again. nine minute finisher and then we're out of here so yeah we came in I hit some front squats uh, got into this workout that was great we competing against Zach and then uh, uh, now Emily and I are gonna do a little nine minute finish so hers are gonna look a lot better than mine Do people respect those people who see effort? But forget about what others think, but for yourself, all that you can ask of yourself is to go out there and put in your best effort for that particular day at that particular moment. And if you could leave there feeling like you went in there and did everything in your power to put out your best effort, we're good. And you know, that's really where I'm leaning into more and more and more is whether it's in business, in family, in fitness, it's like give it my absolute best effort 100% of the time and I could go to sleep at night knowing that I'm doing the best I can and that and that goes for all areas right how can I put in my best effort as a husband as a father as a business owner and as an athlete and um, those, those have been evolutions over time right like uh, maybe before it was all about winning the CrossFit Games then it was all about winning the game of business now it's about kind of having a strong balance between different things that I'm interested in, including, you know, winning the game of being a dad, you know, that's really important to me. Um, and so if I could put in my best effort across those different platforms, I think that's all I could really ask for of myself and of anybody else around me. Uh, let me get lobster, please, little prime rib, crab, rangoon, cream cheese. 